So in spectator mode, I discovered something. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> this is the dragon that was in that den the last time I saw it. He's currently just, just chilling. I don't even like, there's not even a cave. He's literally, <laughs> he, he is literally inside just the ground, just sleeping. Hey, what's going on world? Hope you're doing well. Slightly sick here, back with another episode of RL Craft. In this episode, we're going to be going over the three main ways of finding higher stage dragons, stage four or five, and we're going to hopefully grab some dragon eggs from those dragons that we defeat. Method number one that we're going to go over is probably the most luck-based method. So in our craft, you fly a lot. You, there are a lot of mount options, and the best way of getting around is either a waystone or a mount flying. While you're flying, there is a small chance, especially when you're flying over a mesa biome or a desert biome, that you will find an above ground uh, dragon den exposed. You can find them in snowy biomes, however, the color of the stone that surrounds those dragon dens is it blends in much more than the black on orange or black on uh, white so it's much harder to find those this i'll show you guys real quick here that this is in fact a, a den um got all these guys around here oh, looks like i have uh, aphasia um but if we look down here you can kind of see the corner of the dragon down there. He is down there. I'm not going to fight him just yet. We're going to come back and fight him after we have gone over all the methods. Just wanted to demonstrate what an above ground den would look like. And they are fairly uncommon. I've only found two of them. And I'm going to show you the second now. Alright guys, here is the second location of the above ground dens. I was kind of investigating these dragons. This one was on the ground just a second ago. <clears throat> making a mess of things and being all angry and dragon-like. Uh, and that's when I spotted this one. Ooh, I have a feeling he's gonna spray some fire at me in a second. By chance, this was a very lucky find. Um, and just to show you how lucky these two finds are, if I go in here, I have explored a massive area. This is where we are now. We got that dragon over there. And then all of this area has been explored. And these are the only two above ground dragon dens I have found. Which is why the method that we're going to go over next is the method I think is the best and the one that I would definitely most advise using to locate these dens. Method number two is going to actually be exploring underground structures. In this case, we were exploring this mine shaft. We came into here. And we see that. Obviously, that's a den. Alright, Chupacabra, we don't have time for you. This is going to be by far the easiest method. Because there's not a lot involved. You're already mining. Uh, and there is the dragon right there. And that's a big one. That is a big dragon. Um, now, mine shafts work great. Because they're super huge they cover a very large area but personally i think there is one method that is actually better than mine shafts so the best variation of method two aka using pre-spawned structures to locate dragon dens i think is going to be roguelike dungeons roguelike dungeons are huge they cover a massive y level or um you know surface all the way down to lava sometimes bedrock because um, they have like four or five layers and they extend in every direction so it's quite perfect you can see here um i think i discovered it through this yeah if we go over here you're gonna be able to see it right here this is how i found this dragon den, guys check this out Although I don't know where the dragon is. 
That's interesting. So it should be down there somewhere. Uh, probably gonna pop out. Unless it drowned. Am I missing it here? Yeah, it might have drowned, but in that case there should still be like a... Well, we're down here. Let's, let's check this thing out. Anyways, this is the best variation of Method 2, guys. You can you can do it many other ways, but there are many other structures. You know, there's Doom-like dungeons. There's mine shafts like the one I showed you, um, and it's RL craft. So there's a ton of different types of structures. This is just the biggest. Now, did I just hear the dragon? Sounds like I heard it for a second there. Let's see if we can't find this guy. If nothing else, you should still have a corpse somewhere. I should probably put my stone of the sea on. So, I headed into spectator mode to try and find this dragon, because it was here the last time I came here. And there are no broken spots along the wall. You know, it's, it's pretty it's messy, but there's no visible place that the dragon left. I didn't, I didn't kill it. So in spectator mode, I discovered something. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> this is the dragon that was in that den the last time I saw it. He's currently just, just chilling. I don't even like, there's not even a cave. He's literally, <laughs> he, he is literally inside just the ground, just sleeping. Talk about hibernating. But, um, just to kind of prove my point, I'll show you guys one more location where I have found... Oh, look, there's another dragon den over there. Wait, what is going on here? The dragon's gone from this one, too. Alright guys, usually the dragons are in their dens, um, as it turns out, my dragons aren't, I don't really know why they aren't, presumably that one was the one in this den, and he teleported over there and started messing that area up. But uh, this is this is cheating. This is not how you find dragons. Uh, I was just curious because I didn't see him in there. This usually works. There's a mine shaft connected to that one, and what do you know? There's another roguelike dungeon connected to this one. So I stand by what I said. Roguelike dungeons is the best method. This right here is sort of a, an in between lucky method too. Every now and then you find these massive holes in the ground. Also looks like there's a spawner next to it. And if you go down it, you will find an empty den. Um, I'm not sure exactly what causes these particular dragons to become upset, I guess, <laughs> and uh, break out. But every now and then it happens. You can usually, if you're nearby, you'll usually be able to tell because there will be quite a bit of lag. Uh, but what you can do is... Follow the path. I don't know if these dragons have a particular like spot that they're supposed to stay within, like a range. Uh, but you can follow the path of destruction that they leave. Uh, let's see. So we got over here. What do we got? Oh, we got some fires over here. 
and these paths will usually lead you right to it. Um, this one is still burning, so we should be, I think, getting close here. Oh, which way do we want to go? Do we want to go this way? Let's go this way. Hmm. Not this way. Do 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 do. do. Uh, okay, this looks recent. Oop, we got fire in the sky. And this right here, I believe, is going to be your uh, dragon from the den. We're actually going to go ahead and bring this one down just to kind of see if I'm correct. Maybe get an egg. Um, also, if you can stay without, like, outside the range of the dragon and just keep on putting arrows into him. Oop. I think you might be seeing me here. I mean, it's, it's an easy kill. They're not hard to kill once you have a nice bow and a mount. Um, it's kind of stupid. Oop. And that's never a good thing. But since we are OP as heck, we don't take like any fall damage. We can just grab, uh, we'll grab our Kaka Demon who apparently is glitched, which is great. Let's try that again. Uh, there he is. And pursue this lovely fellow. He one-shot my pet. Usually it takes stage three dragons three shots uh, before they knock my, my pet out of the sky, or my vampire bat. He's coming right towards me, so this is a little bit... Okay, he's angry. So you gotta strafe, you gotta get that strafe game strong. Uh, they have a lot more health. Of course, as I say that, he dies. Uh, but I think they have usually like double the health. Stage three dragons usually have between three and 400. Uh, stage four and five go all the way up to somewhere in like, I don't know, past 600, I believe. This is a big dragon. This is a very big dragon. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead what was that? Is that a tree falling? We'll just do this method. Um, we gotta find the sweet spot. Nope, looks like we found it because these guys are huge. Let's see what we got. Um, doesn't look like we got an egg, unfortunately. Yeah. That was a stage 5 fire dragon. So that's how you find them, or that's one method of finding them. It's, it's a very unusual method. That is actually the first time I've seen that. Is there, maybe there is an egg somewhere, please. I wish it told the gender. Cause I know only the females obviously drop the eggs. Uh, and I'd love to see if that was, I mean, I guess it wasn't if it didn't drop an egg, but you never know, you never know. But uh, now we're gonna move on to method three. This is the, I wanna say the most time consuming. Uh, method there is and we're actually gonna go ahead over to a spot where you can find ice dragons because ice dragons are gonna be the most rare and the most difficult to find obviously if they're the most rare they're the most difficult to find whatever we're going to an ice pile okay so method number three is going to be basic mining you can use any pick, obviously, to mine. My suggestion when you're using this method to find dragons is to go ahead and grab a Lycanite's pick and make sure you have the Geonox Spear, preferably level 3, which is the fully leveled up version, as your, um, your pickaxe component. When this is a fully leveled up part you're gonna get a mining oh, I'll actually go ahead and show you I will go ahead and show you why this is the best option and we're in an ice biome because we want to find yikes we want to find a an ice dragon uh, they're harder to find and make sure when you're looking for ice dragons it's like a legitimate ice biome these are always a safe bet the mountains with the, the ice on top because once winter comes around, sometimes it can get difficult to figure out if you are in an actual ice biome. 
We'll go ahead and dig down here. Why did I just get a sword from that dirt? Ah, uh, because I have the treasure thing. <laughs> That's actually perfect. <laughs> get wrecked. Um, so anyways, you take your pickaxe, which is the lichen axe with a Janox beer. You mine one block. Boom. 17 blocks go in a 3 by 2 tunnel. Uh, this actually would have been down to here. We're going to go down a bit more. Uh, I don't know, is that far enough? Yeah, we'll go with it. And then you just, you're going to mine. Uh, it's real quick when you use this pickaxe. That does not mean you're going to find a dragon very fast. Um, whoops. It just means that the mining aspect is going to be faster. We'll go ahead and mine. What? Okay. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. So this is what I'm talking about. Imagine this on the surface and why it would be difficult to spot this with all the ice around. Um, oh wow, so we actually get frozen stone. This is an ice den. This is actually the first tier 5 ice dragon we've come across. Uh, we're going to head and go ahead and we're going to fight it. We're going to fight this guy. I don't know how this will go. I might get wrecked. I might not. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop some arrows into it. Okay. I kind of want him to attack me. Should I just go in there, guys? Who's hurting him? Am I gonna get one shot here? Holy! Alright, this might have been a bad idea. Taking some hits. I guess the dragon's eye isn't as effective against ice dragons, is it? Oh, we got him. Ooh, I really wish I could have prevented that. Alright. So that's... That's an ice dragon. This is an ice den. We hate your guts. Go away. Um, and that's method three. Again, if you're going to mine, get the Geonox Spear. It's your best bet. Let's go ahead and see if we get an egg from this. That would be amazing. Where's the sweet spot? There it is. Why didn't I get the Dragon Blood? I'm a fool. Okay. Stage five, so it was stage five. And unfortunately, it does not look like we got uh, the dragon egg, which is a bummer. Unless, do we see, I guess it would be gray, right? A gray dragon egg, right? Which means we'll have to keep looking for all the ice dragons. Now that I've shown you the three best methods, or pretty much the three... I guess I kind of showed you four, but... For the most part, three methods of finding... Dragon dens. We're going to go back through and... Revisit our friends, the dragons. And... And their, uh... And them. 
We're gonna actually surprise this guy. Well, maybe I'll shoot him a couple times. Actually, this would be interesting if I could kill this dragon. Roll one by one hole. Let's see if we can do it. Sneak attack for one. I think that's what I'm doing. How did that miss? What was that? Did we kill it? Oh my goodness. Oh my guys. I don't know if we killed it or not. I think we did. Well, that was interesting. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, there's nothing like that feeling when you drop that far and your gut's like... Hmm. Must have broken chests. Alright. Let's see if we get an egg. Um, also, I want to get rid of this skeleton because it's going to be annoying. We're going to actually grab some vials here, or glass bottles, and grab a bunch of dragon's blood. I don't think that affects the egg if you can get one. Hopefully, it doesn't. If it does, I'm a moron. And you guys can let me know. Stage 5 fire dragon. Doesn't look like there's any egg on the ground. Unfortunately. So this must have been another male. And we're not going to grab these because we have a ton. But that's a bummer. Um, on to the next dragon. Okay, so we are now at the second location of the dragon. Um, and we're actually going to fight this guy melee. So let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully make our way most of the way down. And just drop right on top of him. Ooh, this is a big boy. This guy has at least 600 and some health. And I'm also being glitched all around. Alright, look. Look here, buddy. Really? Really? I come all the way down here to you. And you can't be nice enough. Alright, well this is just my fair. Come on, we're done. Just fine, because I don't take fire damage. Because I have your eye. I have the dragon's eye. <laughs> um, I'm also in water, which means now I am overpowered. Okay, still have my strength. No, I don't. But you're holding me in your jaws. Which means I'm going to wreck you. Don't be a dummy. Alright, fine. What's going on here? Wanna fight me? Fight my wife, strength four? Alright, well, that's what happens when you fight me in the water. You're a fire dragon. You do nothing in the water. How many vials of fire blood do we have? Eleven. I don't know if uh, we can get the egg if we use the vials. Oop! We got a bronze, dra bronze dragon egg. All right. Well, there's our first. Well, that was only a stage four. Stage four with 600 and some out. That's not something I expected. But uh, on to number three. Okay, we are now at the ravine um, slash mining. What do they call it? Mine shaft dungeon here. This one's actually very close to my my house. So we're going to head in and once again fight this guy with melee. Hopefully he doesn't do the exact same thing the last guy did and just decide to go straight up and out. Got a lot of mobs here too. Get rid of that. I don't care about him. Right. When you have the, uh, the, the uh, dragon's eye, these fights just become so easy. Insanely easy. Insanely easy. Almost too easy, honestly. Certain items in this game are just too OP. What are you doing, sister? What are you doing? Alright, well, let's see what we get from him. Or her, hopefully. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. 
I mean, it is a bronze one, so I don't really care that much. Let's see. Doesn't look like she dropped her her egg, unfortunately. That was a stage five. Hmm. That was a small stage five. Yep. Looks like that one is a no go. Unless. And she broke a lot of ores. Give me all these bad boys. Give me them. Do we see it? Anywhere? Maybe? Yes? No? Alright. Looks like that's a no. On to the next one. And I think the next one is the one that glitched. So we will probably have to dig to it. Unfortunately. We are actually back at our house. Uh, I know we said we were going to fight the two... Or, I mean, the one dragon that had, um, for whatever reason, teleported basically to a random spot underground from its den. That dragon apparently despawned. Uh, so did the other one that was near it. I'm not sure what happened with those two. A little bit bummed about it, because, you know, stage four and five dragons aren't that easy to find. But, uh, it is what it is. We got, we got several, um... We managed to get one dragon egg to add to our collection, even though we already have a bronze one that we got without even having to kill a dragon, because it was already dead. But, uh, yeah, hope that uh, one of my techniques will help you find a dragon if you are looking for them. And, you know, if it does, I'd love a like and you can subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. See you guys in the next one. Peace.